really hate you. I was diagnosed with you ever since I could remember, with sterile white walls and syringes announcing my arrival. I had emerged, overweight, ugly, in every parent's impending nightmare. You see, I was a baby. It was a ceremonial birth with pastel flowers of vicious pink and satin ribbons festooning the little hair on my wrinkled head. And nobody noticed just yet. It was home, an entire department building with drooping eyebrows and eyes of dirty pains where I was shoved out of normality and the rejoicing soft crooms turned to shrieks of horror and I was dropped to the ground in a retaliation of disgust and the dirt from their shoes marred my ribbons. They had hoped and wished and prayed they were answered and there I was. And now they hoped and wished and prayed once more. Please, please, love her, pretty please. I hate you. You are my diagnosis, my unsolved case. The closed treasure chest my scrambling fingers could never open. The golden lock sealing you to me only becoming stronger as their closed lips were stiff. I begged and pleaded for the truth, and it did come out in spurts of pain that corroded into resentment, tearing at my flesh, air hazy with lost skin cells I ignored, and my wounds burnt until tears were pinched. Mother asked, and paper pills of pistachio green drifted from fingers into water. Doctor, why? Why won't she love her? Why do they hate? And the paper slid from fingers, ripping cuts of crimson and silence in return. All they said, from the cases to the reports to the screenings with the receipts draping around our tired homes, the toilet paper from a child's Halloween prank, white bottles littering marble counters, was, I don't know. I cannot help. You. I hate you. I really hate you. You are the whispering voice, the sharp pokes. You are my worst, with prodding footsteps that hindered my own, my forever tormentor. You giggled and teased, sharp tongue flipping over white pearls, thin lips stretching over mean features of hideous beauty, and tugged at my arm until the slaps and hoarse voices were inevitable. And you would scratch, kick, and flail until we fell to the wooden floor, curses vibrating off the wooden panes, my fruitless temps falling lips. You weighed a ton, you know. You were the pendulum that hung from my side as that swung in a tumultuous tempest as I strummed to the wooden monkey bars, splinter spearing my lifeline until I collapsed on the wood chips below. And you smiled, the unorthodox lovers forever entwined, the pressure from here, there, everywhere. I shook and shuddered in revolution as you touched my skin, and every smack of my hand it would fall upon my own face. You see, you are me, and I hate you. My tears carving down my face, but the slamming doors failed to separate. Mother hid her tears behind pale sleeves until her arms fell into exhaustion and dragged her from the floor where we shook, the unorthodox lovers forever entwined. Her back was slumped across the faded ballet pink roses on the wall, their petals peeling and flaking off, drowning in her ebony hair. We fell silent and twin eyes watched as her shoulders shook and her head buried in waterlogged sleeves and her shameful tears dribbled to the world. Do you understand now? We didn't ban. And then came the verdict for my protests and wishes made so long ago were granted. When I lay on the metal table, the animal not yet there, my final moments with you. I understood, just a little too late. Mother kept her sleeves dry that day. And you squirmed by my side, gripping tight with glistening knuckles, and I could not speak. Finally, I was free. You would be gone, gone, and I could swing across the bars like the others. The pressure from here, there, from everywhere, gone. But now, encased in a house of green and white that is not tired, with drooping eyebrows and dirty panes, with bars of isolation, when I string free, my, I stop. I had said I understood, and now I say this. I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>